My life matters to me, but not just mine. Everyone's. Don't fear failure. It's all as true today as when you were 12. Handle that business. Keep your dreams intact. California! What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Effie Aftermath, man. Hey, I just came back from Vegas. Uh, was there for Evo. It was a cool time. But this time around, like, I was just ready to leave Vegas. Uh, just because I just wanted to be home. Usually I stay there for like four days or so. There's still like tomorrow um, that's left for Vegas. And uh, I'm supposed to be looking at homes out there as well. So there's that. But, yo, I just. <laughs> Yeah, the Vegas video will drop. I got a vlog and shit. I'll explain it in that. It's just crazy at what just happened. And I just like, you know what? I'm out. But anyways, um, today I'm talking to you guys about, yo, I'm out of shape. I'm hella out of shape, man. I've just been on some living life. I've been living life right now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, getting out of shape, putting on some fat or a lot of fat, to be honest. Y'all Y'all see it in this video. Uh, putting on some fat and um, not really focusing on conditioning and stuff as much as I should. I was good for a good uh, two weeks after everything was coming out, and then I uh, shit, I think Dad came a little bit before that, and I just was eating out a lot, eating just a whole bunch of bullshit, um, eating a lot of pasta, a lot of carby foods, and um, just really not a pizza. Damn, I had a lot of pizza. A lot of pizza and burgers and tacos and um really kind of going on an unhealthy vibe but just chilling man just living like you know i mean because i have work to do at home and it's easy to get stuff like that you know at home simply because like people say oh i'll work out um like i work out at a, at a job i have to go to work and you know i order it's the same thing when you're home because sometimes when you're working from home you're not trying to cook nothing like you could but you ain't trying to cook nothing it's so easy to order something and they drop it off to your house delivery is a bitch it's a blessing and a curse at the same time okay let me say that but anyways um so you know i'm fighting the battle of not being out of shape of course uh, I wanna, of course, I want to stay in shape. You know, I mean, it feels good. You know, I still feel somewhat strong. Not this day because um, I've taken the last three days off of working out. As you you've seen more and more days that I've been taking breaks because I'm honestly not used to taking breaks. I've been, you know, on like a constant daily 365 days a year like training regimen, and I do not take breaks. If I, I go to the gym every single day doing some type of workout it doesn't have to be weightlifting every time but i'm doing something actively and honestly for me i think that's just how i operate because i i get used to think once i get used to something i want to stick to it and if i get used to taking breaks and having a day off then i want to continue to do that and that's why i have to continue to push staying in the gym push my body you know eat enough uh, get my recovery get my get my sleep and um, that's just how I operate man it might not be you I know a lot of people I had a lot of people in the chat on the uh, last video saying like you know if, if I don't take this many days off then you know I feel like crap or my body's torn or whatever like that's cool but everybody has their differences you know and I don't even think that training all the time I, cause so, when somebody says like I've said this before in the past and people were like if you train every day you can't be natural or something like that and that's kind of like it, it it depends on what i'm doing if you're saying oh you know you can't train every every single day blah blah, blah. if you're lifting this this x amount um every day then you, you know that's not possible you can't recover from that and i don't who who said i was lifting heavy every day just because i show you guys majority of the videos where i lift heavy remind you i only put out what three videos a week so you know those three videos i might be doing some heavy lift just for that video you know some videos i just do just for entertainment purposes just to put out for you guys of course to build the channel 
but my workouts don't consist of stupid heavyweight challenges all the time you know I have very casual workouts like the one you see right now it's a very casual workout I think only went up to like 375 and uh, hell it was a tough 375 for me today you know some days weights that you baby around with can become heavy you know uh, it's just all about a mindset and uh, I literally just got off the plane uh, for this video got off the plane we were driving in traffic and I didn't really feel like going straight home being stuck in traffic so barbell brigade at the time was 17 minutes away so I was like hey Jeff you want to shoot and uh, that's exactly what happened so we came here to shoot but that being said um, shit I mean days are casual this workout was pretty cool though you know I hit some chest hit like three or four exercises for chest did a little bit of body movements as well uh, starting to notice my fat ass in the mirror you know I'm kind of like I'm, I'm kind of like I'm bulky right now I'm pretty bulky right now my waist never really leaves which bothers me but I can get like crazy done up in the abs and stuff and a little bit of vascularity I don't like too much vascularity I think vascularity is ugly um, I know a lot of you talk about my traps I don't really like big traps I don't like I'm like a bulldozer as meathead you know I have a certain aesthetic I like to keep and look like you know that's my personal preference I don't listen to what somebody else tells me what I need because I don't give a shit what somebody else thinks that I need I work on what I want all right because I like how I look and I want to enhance what my vision is for my look and I feel like you should go that same route don't let these unless you're in bodybuilding and the judge is the one telling you this and that's gonna help you win you don't even listen to nobody's shit, point blank, all right? You do what you want your body to be, you know, within reason, simple as that. You know who I like to compare myself to? This is the only person that I would ever compare myself to that I feel like we have the same body. Obi Vincent, um, guy from UK, he used to be a bodybuilder. He changed to do like some, he's like a cross athlete, pretty much like I am now. But he does it actually a little bit more on the functional side, um, as I'm more on the powerlifting, heavy lifting type of side. I don't see him ever lifting heavy weights. I see him doing more of the conditioning style stuff, which I feel like is a lot better for the long run. Uh, but we still do a lot of the same exercises. Uh, he just goes more for the everybody type of exercise, and I go for the more let me lift as much heavyweight as possible type of stuff but Obi Vincent is somebody that I'm like all right that's a reasonable body look for me I can get like that I and mean, that's how I should be if I ate properly and and every time I went to the I mean, every week I didn't focus on strength stuff and a little bit more conditioning and it used to be like that actually more in New York which is weird because in, out here in LA I think that I would be able to do a lot more conditioning stuff but I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know where my head's at. Ever since I've been in LA, I just did a whole bunch of powerlifting stuff. Ever since I moved here, because of, I mean, Barbell Brigade, of course. As you see, the gym is like full of powerlifters and weightlifters. Not much of a conditioning gym, um, but you can get a lot of conditioning work done. But like I said, I'm just talking, just talking a bunch of blah right now. Oh, dude, in the background getting that work. Look at that, that lateral, boy. Yeah, they be in barbell working, boy. For real, I'm gonna start going here more. Yo, it was hella hot in this gym. Shit, that's what I'm saying. But yeah, like I said, back to Obi Vincent. And I, you know, I watch his stuff, and um, he takes the functional work to another level. You know, um, he really focuses on that. And I'm um, still stuck on the barbell shit, the shit that I just think. Of course, you know, gets people high, motivated and stuff. I should be more of a, you know, coach, but I just felt like the whole coaching thing was, um, wasn't my thing for a while. So ever since me and Matt split up, I thought the whole coaching thing wasn't my thing. But, you know, I'm going to try to get back to that, man. I'm going to try to get back to the functional stuff that really provides benefit for everybody and not just be an entertainment. Um, but that being said, I gotta get back to it, burn this fat. So, hope you guys enjoy and catch you guys next video. Does your life matter to you at all? Of course, my life matters to me.
but not just mine. Everyone's. Don't fear failure. It's all as true today as when you were 12. Handle that business. Keep your dreams intact.